Hey y'all, it's Trina coming back in to do another video review. Um, today's, actually I'm going to be doing two more video reviews. One's going to be on um, The Real Housewives of New Jersey, season number four just began. And um, the second review is going to be on The Basketball Wives. And um, you know what, let me just go ahead, I'll go ahead and start with The, the Basketball Wives, this latest episode. <coughs> um, now, uh, there might be a little swearing in this video because I b will be quoting, you know, verbatim, word for word, what some of these people have said. So, um, if you are <laughs> trying to fix my skirt here, um, if you are concerned about profanity or not wanting to watch any profanity um, in my video, then cut it off. Go look at another video because I will be repeating verbatim what some of these ladies have said in the the episode to make some of my points so anyway you've been warned okay so here we go so episode 10 um comes back in where all the girls are um at the racetrack and they're in this vip room where they're all they've all been sitting there having lunch and um evelyn's assistant nia decides she wants to go in on jennifer you know about you know why aren't you being real and um <clears throat> You know what is your problem you know whatever your issues are with Evelyn that's between you and Evelyn why aren't you talking to me um, and uh, where's my house keys and you know and Jennifer's like what are you doing here why you know she's like why are you here I mean why you know I mean she's not actually I mean this chick Mia is not on the show I mean she's not a main player in the basketball wife so I think that's what Jennifer was getting at is like why are you why do you care you know why I haven't called you or whatever obviously you know Jennifer wasn't as as close of friends with Nia as Nia thought she was I guess I don't know but for whatever reason Nia felt she needed to speak on speak on it and, and call Jennifer out and stuff and then she's like you know well, you need to wake up Jennifer you need to wake up do I need to come around and, and come around this table and slap the shit out of you she says and Jennifer's like yes yeah. she goes I wish you would not banking on the fact that this chick was gonna get up out of her seat walk around the table and slap the pee out of her that's exactly what well, she did so then boom the fight's on and then all of a sudden um, um jennifer's like you know uh i can't see it. she goes no sister me trying to sue you because you ain't got no money so i guess she goes, and so then Neil goes what you gonna sue evelyn and so you know jennifer emotions like yeah i gotta do what i gotta do and then evelyn's like every time i see you i'm gonna sting you bitch every time i see you i'm gonna sting you and it's just like Really? And what bothered me about that whole situation, this is the third situation that Jennifer's been in. The first one was where, um, I guess, oh, the first one was the very, the first episode when they were all in New York and they all got together and stuff at this club and Evelyn was calling Jennifer out, you know, you know what you did, you know what you did. And Jennifer's like, no, actually, what did I do? You know what I mean? What did I do? I'm not sure exactly why you, you know, I thought we were cool and stuff and, you know, well, Evelyn, well, you know, uh, you know, I, I'm hearing things. You're still, you know, running your mouth about me and my man and stuff. And Jennifer's like, look, you know, I haven't said anything. And, da, 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 da. and then Evelyn's like, well, what about your blog? What, what about you? What about it? What about me and my man and your blog? She goes, my publicist. She goes, my blog. She goes, my publicist put whatever she put in the blog. Cause it had nothing to do with me, blah, blah, blah. So then Evelyn, you know, so then Jennifer, you know, started standing her ground and, and, you know, like, what do you want? You know, what do you want? And, and Evelyn's like, calm the F down, calm the F down before you get slapped in your effing face. And I mean, just stupid stuff. I mean, these ladies cannot be in the same room without acting crazy. That was the first instance. Then the second inst episode was when, um, now Jennifer got it. Uh, Shawnee invited all the girls to her birthday party and Jennifer, you know, you could tell she really didn't want to go, but I respect for Shawnee and stuff she put herself in a very uncomfortable situation to show her support and love for Shawnee so she went to the birthday party everything was cool of course Evelyn's throwing you know dark her dark eyes back and forth you know between Tammy at, at, at um at uh, Jennifer and stuff Jennifer's just sitting there she's you know minding her business she's being quiet she's keeping it classy she's not trying to start anything and then all of a sudden, Evelyn, she just got to mess with her. She can't just keep it classy, you know, and, and keep the night about Shawnee. She just got to 
dig in on Jennifer. So she gets up and makes her toast. You know, I just want to thank all of my friends and, you know, for being real and being a true friend. You know, everyone at this table with exception to, you know, certain people that were, will remain nameless. But I just want to thank everybody for being real and being my friend. Love you, Shawnee. Happy birthday. Da, 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 da. And so... She made her, her, Ella made her little speech. So then Jennifer jumps up and she keeps it. Jennifer kept it completely classy. She kept it all about what the situation was. It was Shawnee's birthday. She's like, Shawnee, you know, happy birthday. Thanks for inviting us all here. And, you know, thank you for, you know, everything you've done for me and for everyone. And I wish you a happy birthday and I wish you many more. And she just left it at that. She didn't go on off on her tangents trying to dig daggers and throw daggers at anybody, anything. She just kept it really classy. Which therefore in turn pissed Evelyn off. So Evelyn gets up and starts wrapping her mouth and stuff and she, and she's, you know, you're not of this life. You're not you're you're not of this life. You you bum bitch. She keeps calling her a bum bitch. She's like, You're not of this life. And then she hits her, whops her in the and whops Jennifer in the back of the her head with her purse. That's incident number two. So then here we are at incident number three. Here we're at incident number three. We're at the racetrack. Um they all come into the VIP room together. They're all sitting down having drinks and eating. Jennifer's not you know trying to start anything she's not throwing daggers at anybody she's just sitting there enjoying her lunch then boom here comes Evelyn's assistant starting stuff stuff with her y'all if you want to know what I'm talking about go to vh1.com pull up the basketball wives uh, Miami episode number 10 you'll see exactly what I'm talking about the gent poor Jennifer was straight up attacked on camera by Evelyn's assistant and then Evelyn gonna jump across the table at Jennifer trying to trying to get at at Jennifer so what is that people if someone physically puts their hands on you what is that that's assault that is assault poor Jennifer was assaulted by Evelyn and her assistant and now here we are at episode 10 and Evelyn and Tammy and Nia are focusing on you know she should just you know who files a lawsuit I mean Tammy where I come from where I come from you just take your ass whooping and you move on well I don't know where you come from yeah maybe if you were 14 yeah you, you scrabble you fight and you let it go you move on but you guys are, are, are grown women for almost 40 years old scrapping like your kids no when you become a grown adult you know you should be able to walk into a room say what you want to say whether it be right or wrong and not have to worry about people slapping you in your face with their hands and throwing bottles I mean episode 9 Evelyn's throwing not one but multiple bottles of wine at Kenya because Kenya said that she loose <laughs> okay and they focusing on you know how could she say that you know d d so she lives in a two bedroom apartment in Harlem what she thinks she's so much better than everybody that's what made me mad she didn't she, okay her assistant assaulting another human being didn't make her mad it was the person who got attacked was what really bothered all of them I mean it's just it just I was very ashamed I was very ashamed at all of their conduct. And to be, you know, where I come from, you just take your, you, Tammy, you just take your ass whooping and you just move on. And yeah, yeah, you just let it go. You get, you take your behind whooping and you let it go. Of course, I'm actually going to say that because you don't want to get sued. And I don't blame Jennifer. I mean, I don't, you know, she did not, I can guarantee you, I'd be willing to bet my right arm that Jennifer did not sign on this show to run the risk of getting attacked every time she walked in a room with a group of women. I mean, I, I'm almost positive she didn't sign up for this. And why Shawnee continues to allow this type of behavior to happen is beyond me. Um, I actually watched a Much Love from Kentucky's video on her, at her review that she did on this past episode. And she, on her website or on her channel, there's a link. Um, um, vote for Enough is Enough. I guess someone, Star Jones and some other person and Alexandria, I can't think of her name, have started a petition um, to um, to stop Evelyn, to you know, put a stop to all the violence and stuff. I mean, it just gives it just gives us a really, a really, really, really. Um, it makes us look bad. You can't get any of us in, into a group, you know, without someone acting crazy and stuff. It's just, it's just. I mean, I don't want to boycott the show, but now I see why Royce...
keeps her distance. You know, they, you know, Tammy, Evelyn, and them have their little episodes and stuff. And Royce has her own little segments with her friends and stuff. And you know, that's how she she's decided to to remain on the show and keep the peace. I hope Jennifer now will follow Toe with Royce and do the same thing that Royce, you know, do the same thing that Royce is doing, you know, you know, have your little segment, you know, let them do their thing, you guys do your yours, and you still have a show, because, I mean, Evelyn just has it in for Jennifer, and I think part of what irritates, what irritates Evelyn so much about Jennifer is she just knew, she just knew that when she kicked Jen, she goes, if I kick Jen to the curb for a little bit and keep her curbside to let her know that, you know, you can't be going around talking stuff, you know what I mean? It's just going to kill her. She'll come, I'll kick her to the curb, I'll ignore her for a minute, then she'll come crawling back to me and I'll take her back into my circle and she'll know better than to treat me like crap or say anything about me my man next time. Well, what happened was she did, she kicked Jennifer to the curb and you know what Jennifer Williams did? She got up off the curb, brushed herself off, flung her hair back and kicked it moving peace out uh evelyn and that just pissed evelyn off because she just knew she just knew jennifer would come groveling back what did i do i'm sorry what i mean i love you what did i do no jennifer's like peace out deuces go get my own friends do my own thing uh hope everything goes well with you and Peace out, bitch. That's basically how Jennifer shows the handle list. And she, every time I've seen Jennifer, I've never. In episode nine, Evelyn and, and me is at, at a bar drinking. Like, what is Jennifer's problem, man? She is like freaking psycho. I mean, she's sick. What's wrong with her? And I'm thinking to myself, wait a minute. She's sick and Jennifer's psycho. And what's her problem? What's wrong with her? Okay, wait a minute. Um, I haven't seen Jennifer attacking people in public and causing scenes and calling people bum bitches and telling them they ain't of this life and I haven't seen Jennifer hit anybody in their head with their her purse I've never seen Jennifer come across her the, a table at anybody I've never seen Jennifer once throw bottles of wine at anybody but yet Jennifer's being called the crazy one, the sick one. No, Evelyn, you and your sick psycho assistant, you guys are the ones, as far as I'm concerned, that got the problems, and that's why you're being boycotted. That that uh, boycott, you know, stop the violence now, or enough is enough, you know, boycott Evelyn Lozando has over 14,000 signatures right now. 14,556, when I, when I signed the petition, it, that's where it was up to. I mean, enough is enough. Shawnee, I hope you, you see this. Um, I do think that Evelyn adds value to the show. I think they all add some type of, you know, entertainment and value to the show. But all this fighting and stuff, I mean, Evelyn is just out of control. I mean, maybe she do need to go sit in jail for a minute and think about, you know, what she does. And, you know, she needs to get it through her head. You can't go around attacking people and expecting them not to retaliate and do something. And Jennifer, because she's a classy lady, I don't think Jennifer has ever fought a day in her life. So, um... You know, the only way she know how to handle this is, is through the courts. Now, I did thought that was kind of shit. She's like, I don't use my hands. I do what the white folks do. I, I let the courts handle it. No, Jennifer, you're not doing what the white folks do. You're doing what's the right thing and smart thing to do. Let a judge put her in jail, charge her with assault, and then you can sue her for damages for pain and suffering and, and defamation of your character. And I mean, sue her and sue the show if you have to because uh, uh, VH1 is allowing you to be assaulted and expecting you to take it because you're on the show. So, you know, maybe this will teach everyone involved that, you know, you can say what you want to say. Just keep your hands to yourself. So anyway... I can't wait to the next episode because, ooh, I guess there's going to be some drama with Royce and her dad. Poor, I've never seen Royce cry like this before, so I guess her dad is going to say something or something he's not happy about with what she's doing. It could be with her new boyfriend, which he seems very nice and that he really cares about her. So, not really for sure what's going on there, but I've never ever in the four seasons that I've watched Basketball Wives seen... Um, Royce cry the way she's crying you can tell she's just extremely hurt and you can see the pain in her dad's face too but obviously something he's unsaid and set her completely off and so we'll find out more about that on the next episode so anyway this was
my review on this latest episode of the Basketball Wives. You guys chime in. Let me know if you agree with what I think. Uh, let me know if there's something. If, if there is something I left out, I'm sorry. Chime in and let me know what it is. Tell me what you think. Um, what you think is going to happen. If you believe the way I, way I believe and as 14,000 other people believe that enough is enough. That Evelyn needs to stop the, the bull crap. Log on to Much Love from Kentucky's um, Facebook page. There's a link on the, her latest episode of the, of the Basketball Wives. Um, and there's a link there you can click on. It'll take you right to the Enough is Enough website. And you can just... All it does is it asks you to put your first name, last name, and your, your email address. And it asks you to click the sign button that you signed that petition to to stop Evelyn and her and her crap. So... Anyway, to the next um, video review. I'll see y'all later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Mwah.